So, Aquaman. Aquaman. Interesting fact. Originally, Aquaman could only breathe underwater and talk to fish for one minute, and that was it. Okay. It's true. Originally, he only had the power for small bursts. But, like all classic comic book characters, Aquaman's origin was ineventually completely rewritten to make it seem less fucking stupid. <laughs> Which means that now the Fantastic Four don't steal a spaceship and launch themselves in space secretly to beat those red communist bastards. Yeah. It's no longer their origin. Which means that Tony Stark was not forced to create his Iron Man armor to no. escape clutches of the dirty Vietnamese. <laughs> Uh, which was his origin, and which means that Green Lantern does not have one weakness, which is things that are the color yellow, because that would be the stupidest weakness in the history of, oh, wait, he still has that. Well, both... Fucking stupid. Both Aquaman and the Green Lantern were cartoons that I saw when I was very, very young. Yeah. And I thought they were fucking awesome. So, like, yeah. like, even somewhere in the back of my head now is a little tickle saying they're awesome. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. But the premise is a bolt stupid yeah. as shit. It's just ridiculous that Green Lantern's one weakness is, like, I don't know, bananas. Or minions. Can't you just shoot a ray, you know? Does, does shit have to come out of your ring and it becomes a big fist? Yeah. Or a bowling pin. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Aquaman's super heroic origin story is now a lot more than, hey guys, I could hold my breath for one minute. Like, what are you for? That's <laughs> not, that's not a, a goddamn superpower. I've always had a problem with Aquaman, and I've never really been able to like put my finger on it or whatever. Yeah. But I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. I figured it out recently, and so this is my problem with Aquaman. Okay, it it, it it's in two parts. Okay? okay, number one, Aquaman is basically a Nazi. Uh, okay, Nazi you, Nazi experiment. Yeah. If you put him in a brown shirt, he could easily pass as German propaganda. Yes. <laughs> what with his uh, baby blue eyes and his blonde hair and his pale white skin, basically he's what Hitler jacked it to. Yes, yes. And and he would... He would be Aquaman, but, but also his secret identity would be like U-boat commander. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. But but keep that in mind because part two is the part that bothers me. Aquaman's rival, his chief main villain, his Joker, his Lex Luthor, his Hillary Clinton, it's Black Manta. Black Man Ta. Ta. Yeah. Black Man Ta. Here's this blonde haired, blue eyed superhero going, oh no! It's a black man. Tuh. Oh no! Oh, you know you can't trust that black man. Tuh. He's he's a dirty, ruthless supervillain who likes to steal things. That black man. Tuh. Man, there's one thing that I well, you know, like. being being a a, a child yeah. in the '60s. That was probably the complete intent of the show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Man, there's one thing that I, the blonde-haired, blue-eyed, pale, white-skinned Aquaman, can't trust. It's a black man. Ta, my villain. Black man. Ta. That's my problem with Aquaman. The guy's a Nazi. For real. Yeah. He's a freaking Nazi. Uh, well, now, now he's South Pacific. Yeah, now he's Roman Reigns. Yeah, yeah. He went from he went from being a blonde haired, blue eyed white guy to Roman Reigns in a second. So that's <laughs> I don't know how he did that, but seriously, if, if you're gonna like instead of casting a Roman Reigns type, they should have just cast Roman Reigns. It looks like they got a guy and made him look like Roman Reigns, but anyway, <laughs> Roman Reigns. 